My dudes, what's going on? It's that time again. Is Eidolon worth playing after 3,000 hours? A lot's have happened since the last video. A lot more things to cover. Sit back and relax, and let's get into it. If you guys are new to Eidolon or the channel, let's give a brief overview of what Eidolon actually is. It's an idle RPG that has multiplayer capabilities via guilds or party dungeons and hopefully more soon to come where you can spend your time leveling up to 10 characters through skills, combat, and questing. Story dialogue is different for each world and the characters are memorable and the pixel art is amazing for the actual pixel count used. Cross-platform from browser to Steam to even Android. By the way, iOS is coming soon. But where it really shines is in its AFK management. I'm sure you've played other idle games where over time you get a sound amount of gold and XP and blah 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 when you log in. Well, Lab of the Developer has taken AFK gains to a whole other level. Where not only can you increase your normal RPG stats like attack, main stat, abilities, health, you can also get cool miscellaneous stuff such as XP, drop chance, and even AFK gains themselves without having to spend a single cent on the game. Because let's be honest. A lot of us don't have time to invest into a huge game that requires hours and hours out of your day. Some people have jobs and kids or sports, which are already a huge time sink. This game takes you into account and respects the time that you do have and be able to come back and play for 10 minutes, one hour, two hours, or even all day if you want. There's so much to do, but never feels like you're falling behind and always coming back into a big dopamine hit of loot and rewards. But I would use idle RPG very lightly because this game has so much to do that you can pretty much be as active as you please. There's no energy bar. There's no stupid crap. It's just an all around good game. With the new World 4 update, the amount of things has gone up quite a bit. From getting your elite classes or leveling the new 10th character, Kilroy at World 2, party dungeon updates, three new skills such as cooking, breeding and lab, more recipes that make you farm World 1, World 2, and World 3 even more to get them makes even more icing on this Eidolon cake. And Lava is kicked into overdrive by keeping up with these updates and maintain more and more growth over time, creating a high fluctuation player count, which means this game is getting more and more popular. But at the same time, also more and more grindy. And sometimes confusing to some people, a little overwhelming. I read a lot of YouTube comments and Twitch chat about questions, and help on how things work because they aren't necessarily explained the best. But all in all, it's just one developer and overall doing a fantastic job keeping up. But I do worry, as we get more worlds, it will become more daunting for a new player to start playing because of the overwhelming amount of skills and the worlds to traverse. But speaking about that, the amount of stuff to do is awesome, and to have it completely optional whether to AFK or to active in short spurts or long periods of time is great and makes it honestly hard to invest any time into another game just because you want to get that spreadsheet dopamine hit to even stronger through small things. Now all that being said, let's talk about the gem shop because a lot has been added. The new upgrades for World 4 are kind of overpowered to an extent. For instance, if you have all the jewels, you are at an insane advantage compared to most other people due to the overpowered power-ups that are giving, such as 3 times cooking speed, more money, and damage. Although these could be attained via playing the game, I would consider this to be somewhat of a pay-to-win mechanic even though there is no PvP, but only pay-to-win in a sense of saving time, because for free-to-play, the jewels and ships would take months and months to even get a fraction of what a pay-to-player would get. Not a bad thing, because the developer needs our help to keep his game running because no ads, it's just something to shed a bit more light on. My account is going pretty swimmingly over the years and hours played. I'm in super late game, alchemy is growing nicely, construction is pumping, meals are getting void plated, lab is going slowly but steadily, farming people up to get that level 75 for full chip access. All my characters are almost level 200, everyone has reached the end of world 4, so now I'm just waiting for world 4 boss update, getting massive prints, so never starving for refinery. Speaking of which, you guys ever notice how stupidly painful it is to level your refinery up? Currently rank 46 in party dungeons and have obtained 13 emperor obols, which are 10k flurbos each, and if you guys don't know, they're the last ring in the flurbo shop at the party dungeon and have 90% of everything maxed in party dungeons, also doing successful carrying, and have killed 4th Frog, 3rd Snake, and 3rd Galaxus, aka Jerry, and have carried over 50 people so far, and counting. Tower defense is solid for prayers as well, Mini games have higher achieved high scores, I have Megalodons on all my characters, which if you guys don't know what a Megalodon is, 
It can be explained in my fishing minigame guide. Post office is going great with the new Choco chip from World 4 to make Crystal Mob Spawn and Crazed insanely to drop silver pens. Apocalypse Chow has been fully achieved on my Blood Berserker. Bubonic Conjurer is still overpowered as all hell. And Beastmaster cranking out those eggs with huge pet gains. Speaking of pet gains for breeding, I just unlocked the last pet for World 1, so World 1 down, another 2 to go. Overall, would say that the account progression is going very well. Leave in the comments if you guys would be interested in a more in-depth account review. But after 3000 hours, you're kind of wondering, well, what else is there to do? Well, at my current state of the game, I would say I've reached more of a maintenance mode period of gameplay where it's log in every day, do dailies, claim refinery, scrap cogs, level alchemy, level stamps, run happy hour for times 40, do Kilroy weekly, egg gambling, collecting souls, collecting traps via trapping drone, and bing chillin' in the lab. But considering how far I am in the game, my gameplay will look way different than a lot of your guys' gameplay, henceforth the hours played. Still a lot to do such as 3D prints, more carries, farming for diabolical gear, star metal tools, and of course tons and tons of skilling, and getting every character to at least level 250 to unlock the last obol slot. And by the time I get it done, more content will be out like the pet follower update and the rift update, so on and so forth. And uh, just one thing, Virtuoso is in the rift. Is this game still worth playing? Uh, it's a terrible game. R rate one star. It's it's absolutely trash. Just kidding. In all seriousness, I would say 100% this game has literally consumed my existence. My social presence in life has been siphoned. I don't know what the outside world smells like anymore. What is fresh air? This game is by far one of my favorite games I've ever played. Yeah, cosmetically it's kind of trash, but mechanically, minus the bugs, it's flawless. It's a gem in the rough. If you haven't tried it yet, I would strongly suggest to give it a chance, but I would also suggest to traverse through World 1, World 2, and wait until you get to World 3 to make your optimal choice, because it's a little slow at the start, but once you start getting to World 3, that's when stuff really starts to pick up. Also, I can't say this enough, but a free-to-play game that's cross-platform and no ads whatsoever is actually game-changing. Trying to even attempt playing a different mobile game, or game in general, is painful to get hit with a 30 second ad at least. But even after 3000 hours of gameplay, I'm still hooked, still optimistic, and still stoked on the new updates for what's to come and the levels to grind. Anyways my dudes, hope you enjoyed another 1000 hour update, make sure to support the channel by hitting the sub and the bell to help with the algorithm, and show who you represent, because we are the Itty Bitty Army. And comment if you have any questions. Also join the Discord for future notifications for going live or new videos. Also, if you want to join the guild or the sister guild, at the moment we have a quite a big waiting list for the guild, but with the new sister guild we are looking for some dedicated people who want to make the new guild flourish. But that all said, tune in for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.